guys welcome back to my channel I'm Tyler if you're new to my channel here um, so today I wanted to talk about how I got my cycle back after the Depo Provera shot um, took me five and a half months to get my cycle back after the Depo Provera shot so I officially didn't really have it for about two and a half years almost um, and now, mind you, I had done everything under the sun. So it could be just luck of timing. Because um, I know sometimes, like, with all the research that I did, it can take, like, six months to a year to two years. Quite some time to get your cycle back. But I wanted to tell you what I did to boost my chances of getting my cycle back sooner so that my husband and I can try to conceive. So I started off the journey by... Um, taking Vitex and I was just I, for some reason I wasn't doing it religiously um, so this was probably like two months after I was off of the shot like I should have gotten my cycle back in November so two months after that I started ordering things because I was just like okay I'm like so eager if you don't know my husband had his vasectomy reversed um, we have two children who are seven and nine together, and we decided that we were done at that point when my daughter, youngest daughter was about 10 months old, and I instantly regretted it. So um, about seven years later, we were finally at a point financially that we could afford to get his vasectomy reversed, and also we were both at a point in our lives that we really just decided that we wanted more children. Um, so with that being said, it was quite the journey to think that, you know, I was under the understanding that it was going to be my husband that we would have like some issues with because of having to get his vasectomy reversed and that I was on all these groups with reversals and, you know, sometimes the sperm count just isn't what it needs to be so you need to have them on supplements and sometimes the surgery can't work. And then it turns out that it was me. Um, so I had gone to my doctor and I asked her, you know, like two months before he got the reversal, uh, if I should like be on anything or, um, have any issues. And she said, nope, you should be good to go. Because at that point I was spotting the last like four months. So she was thinking that my, um, cycle should just like pick back up, which it did when I was younger and I was on it for about two years at this time. Um, so this time it took me about five and a half months to get my cycle back. But, so I started on Vitex, um, which is a chastberry supplement. Um, I was just on several different Facebook groups and on YouTube and just doing all the research that I could, um, to help boost my fertility and get my hormone balanced again and everything. Now, mind you, during this time while I was coming off of the depot shot, oh my goodness, I was going through so many different things. Um, my, crazy, but I feel like my chest grew like two full sizes and I was like, what is happening? I wasn't complaining, um, but they were very, very, very sore. And then I looked up some videos in here, like with all the hormones that are like pumping back into your system, that can happen. Um, so now that I actually got my first cycle back, I feel like I'm kind of regular again. Um, and then there was just a hormone imbalance and I could feel like my body trying to get my cycle every month and like, you know, I'd go through the back pain and the cramping and just then have nothing or the headaches or just everything that comes with the side effects of the Depo Provera that I didn't realize were side effects because I just thought it was just kind of part of my life, I guess. Um, including like stomach aches and um, just awfulness. Um, so I started doing some research. So I started taking Vitex. I was only taking it once a day. Um, and then I decided to actually like <laughs> really read the bottle and it said that the recommended dose was two you know once in the morning and once in the evening and so I guess for the bat about the last month I did that um, and I also was looking up some videos on how to like boost your um, cycle to come back 
And so I found that if you take a thousand milligrams of vitamin C and you put the heat pad on your stomach, like as much as you can throughout the day, that it can help to boost your cycle. So as soon as I found this out, I was like, yep. Because, I mean, it's vitamin C, like who doesn't need that? <laughs> um, so I took a thousand milligrams of vitamin C every day and about two weeks later, um, I ended up getting my cycle and I was so excited. Now the girl in the video that I watched, she said that it takes, you know, within two days she had her cycle, but I knew that that wasn't gonna be the case for me because of being off of the Depo Provera and just a whole different situation. So we, um, I went out and I got the vitamin C. I was still taking the Vitex in the morning and at night. Um, I was also drinking like the naked drinks, like the vitamin C naked drinks to try and like boost that as well. Um, and just to clean up my diet some and you know try not to eat as much junk I was really trying to drink a lot of water um, which I am not the best at and so I would just like down as much water as I could to try and get my body just to like flush everything out um, I had tried some other medications throughout this time not medications so much as supplements um, that I had done research on but I noticed that with them I would get like crazy headaches and just not feel good um, at all. It just, or uh, super nauseous, it just didn't work for me. So I like decided to like bring it back. So I decided to start taking the Vitex in the morning at night, the vitamin C, my prenatal vitamins, and a fish oil pill. And I did that for, well the Vitex was for like a full month um, that I had both of them in my cycle. And then the vitamin C and the fish oil and the prenatals, well the prenatals was past even before I was off of the Depo Provera shot just because that's what my doctor suggested and so I wanted to jump on that as, as soon as I could. And within two weeks after doing all of that, oh and putting the heat pad on, which I love heat pads anyway, so because um, I always feel like my belly always, <laughs> always hurts. Um, but now, surprisingly that I'm off the Depo shot, I have felt so amazing. Like my body has felt so much better in these last say probably like the last month of being off of it so it took about five months for my stomach to stop hurting and all of that nonsense um but yeah so with the heat pad and all of that in about two weeks I was able to get my cycle back so I don't know if any of you out there are struggling with trying to conceive after the Depo Provera shot but I figured I would tell you my story I am in no way a medical professional at all um, however, I was just searching for videos like, please, someone give me hope. And a lot of them, you know, would just say like, kind of just, it is what it is. You have to just let your body do it. And I was like, I was just not willing to accept that. <laughs> um, now this is only my first cycle. I am currently taking ovulation tests as well. And they are getting, I'm doing the clear blue ones. And I'm getting the smiley blinking face. So I'm really hopeful that with that, I will actually be ovulating this month. Um, I am aware that it may not be likely since it's my first cycle after the Depo Provera and your body's still catching up and you know, I've read so many horror stories, but I just wanted to share my story with you guys and give you some hope that if you're trying to get your cycle back and you're trying to conceive or you just wanna feel better after being off the Depo Provera, there is hope, it did work for me. Um, and now, currently, I have, I'm still on everything else, but I have stopped the vitamin C after I got my cycle, so that way um, it doesn't promote it to come again. Uh, at least I'm hoping not. <laughs> um, so once it's that time again, then I will take the vitamin C back again to try and make sure that I'm being regular every month again. So I hope you guys have some hope now and um, yeah, please like my video and subscribe and I hope you have a great day.